The Pacific Crest Trail is a 2,560-mile trail that, according to one search engine, features a lake and is rated as difficult. It goes from Mexico through California and Oregon and up to Washington. While in Oregon, it passes near Bend, which is where you find the Crux Fermentation Project, which has made this, um, well, unhelpful porter, as in it doesn't carry your goods for you. Um, but I'm sure it's far better to drink. <laughs> I think that's probably top three for most awkward introductions I've done in these beers. <laughs> but it was the third try and I wasn't thinking of anything else to uh, say. Anyways, this is the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail Porter by Crux Fermentation Project. It is a day in and day out porter, highly drinkable with rich roasted aromas and notes of dark chocolate, lasting smoothness and a sweet finish, according to them. Um, yeah. We'll see. Well, actually, it's all in there. I've tasted it. It's good stuff. It's a good beer. You notice it has quite a head. It's been out of the fridge for about 15 minutes now. Got a nice, almost a bready head. It looks like um, bread dough that's been um, that's been rising for a little bit. It smells chocolatey and maybe a hint of molasses, but pretty pretty bare hint. Yeah, it's mostly uh, chocolatey, maybe a bit of roasted coffee, possibly, in there. No, I think there might be some chicory, not coffee. I mean, I've been over the chicory in the um, one of the Boulevard super nice beers, stout porters that I had. And chicory is a an aroma that's analogous to coffee, but not quite nearly the same thing. It has a similar bitter and roasty character. And I think that's what I'm picking up here. There's kind of a an earthiness to the, the coffee note and a little bit of a bite that makes me think it might be closer to chicory than coffee. Either way, it smells good. It smells complex. It smells drinkable. It smells good. It smells like the sort of thing that if I were running on calorie deficits for an extended period of time hiking on a very long trail, it would definitely be something worth looking forward to. <laughs> now that makes me wonder, where do you cross the Columbia on the Pacific Crest Trail? Because I'm thinking Pacific Crest, that's got to be like the, the first set of hills in from the coast. And it, that's the, the first bridge over... The Columbia is the Astoria Bridge, and that's a really long bridge that's not particularly suited for walking at all. It's one lane each way, and long and tall, and yeah, I don't know. Eh, I'm not interest. I'm not curious enough to look into it. I might. Who knows? Random knowledge. Who knows when it may become useful, or I'll be interested enough to look it up. <laughs> Hmm. The chocolate is, it's kind of a thick syrupy chocolate smell. Like it's not tasting, it's not smelling like a chocolate bar. It's not necessarily smelling like, it smells more like dark chocolate than, the, than milk chocolate, but it's not smelling like it belongs necessarily to one or the other firmly. And there's a syrupy quality to it, which might be the chocolate mixing with, the, the chocolate aroma mixing with the chicory slash coffee aromas in there either way it it's it smells thick without smelling like stout heavy mm. i like that it's a good beer very low bitterness it is rated 30 ibus and it's only a 5.5 percent alcohol so it's relatively low for a nice dark beer like this. And to the mouth, there are some almond nuttiness, nutty notes, and that same kind of syrupy chocolate. Uh, there's not really the bitterness that I would expect from chicory slash coffee. It's more just the chocolate stuff in there. But it's a nice, mild, like, 
kind of light, juicy version of this syrupy chocolate that's quite, quite fetching, quite, quite good. Mm. And it feels like it produces more bubbles as I drink it. And so that kind of mutes things and puts some texture in the mouth. This is like a, a cold day beer, but not a, a frozen dark day. Like the sun can be out and you can still be drinking this. Just, it's better on a cold day than a hot day, but it doesn't have to be a particularly like huddled around the fire or sipping heavy drinks after dinner kind of beer. It's more of a, you know, I finished my yard work and I'm a little bit chilly and I want a beer instead of a hot cocoa kind of, kind of beer. Yeah, it's good. The or I think that the the lightness to the body and the kind of the nuttiness balancing this nice kind of syrupy chocolate is just a really, really good combination that works very well, that's pleasant, that's enjoyable, that you can crush if that's your thing or that you can sip. I think it probably leans toward the crushable side rather than the sippable side mostly because of that lighter body lighter character um, but there's enough in there that you can still savor it it's just it can go either way it's it's in the middle right yeah good stuff yep i like it it's a good beer if like will never happen I ever find myself on the Pacific Crest Trail, um, I'll probably be getting off at the next stop. <laughs> I'm not a long distance hiker. <laughs> I have enough other things to fill my interest and fill my time. That's just not my uh, cup of tea or mug of beer. But I would certainly make it a point, if I were, hypothetically speaking, make it a point to, uh, when I'm in Bend, Oregon, actually I'd probably get stuck in Bend, Oregon. I, there's too many good things in Bend, Oregon. I mean, there's there's Crux, and there's, I want to say, uh, Deschutes is there, and, oh goodness, it's I believe it's it's like, it's one of the uh, micro and craft brewing capitals of the West Coast, and has boasts a myriad of wonderful breweries, uh, Crux being one of them. And I would definitely, if I were in Bend, Oregon, get off the trail and take my time there for a bit. And who knows, I might even enjoy PCT Porter fresh from the taps there. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and definitely enjoying the PCT Porter by Crux Fermentation, and I will catch y'all on the flip side.